The latest trends in travel fans Lauren Simonetti talks to Con Nast Traveller contributing editor Mark Elwood about the last-minute travel destinations for the July 4th weekend and the latest travel trends. Thomas Cook, a British travel company that's been around for more than 100 years, met with shareholders on Sunday in the company's fight to avoid bankruptcy. Continue reading below. Thomas Cook confirmed Friday that it is seeking £200 million in new capital. The company's largest shareholder is Chinese investment company Fosin. More from FOXBUSINESS.com. The money required would be at seasonal standby facility and come on top of the £900 million of new capital already raised, the company said. Any failure to raise the required capital would elicit questions about the jobs of the 22,000 staff Thomas Cook employs around the world, including 9,000 in Britain. A collapse could leave around 150,000 travellers from Britain stranded, along with tens of thousands of travellers from other countries. The British government may have to lease planes to get its citizens home. Advertisement file in this May 19, 2016 file photo, a Thomas Cook plane takes off in England. Thomas Cook, one of the world's oldest and largest travel companies, is facing a race against time to stay afloat. It was announced Friday, September 20, 2019. Tim Good, a United Kingdom Foreign Minister Dominic Raab acted as though a government bailout of the travel firm was unlikely, The Guardian reported. Thomas Cook's predicament comes about half a year after Icelandic budget airline Wow Air said in a statement that it has ceased operations, stranding passengers. The Associated Press contributed to this report. Let's block ads. Why?